In today's video, we have an awesome special challenge. Every 10 rounds, balloons will be permanently upgraded by one tier. Basically, this means that a red balloon at round 10 is going to spawn as a blue balloon. And then at round 20, instead of a blue balloon, it's going to be turned into a green balloon. So that means things are going to get out of hand really fast. So the question is, how long can I survive while balloons are going to get stronger and stronger and stronger every 10? rounds. Let's find out. Countless monkeys around the world are fighting off balloons for your safety. Hit the like button now to show some support for the monkeys fighting for you around the world. Who knows what the heck is going to be happening here. I put down Benjamin so we can get some money. We'll put down a boat. As soon as we get some money, I'll get grape shots. And ideally, we want to become as powerful as we can as quickly as possible. I'm going to get grape shot. I have no idea how quickly this is going to get out of hand. Because this could very quickly, like, by round 30, is, like, every balloon gonna be, like, a ceramic balloon? But one of the things to keep in mind is every 10 rounds, if the balloons are gonna be upgrading, that means we're going to run into balloons a lot sooner than we're normally used to. For example, lead balloons show up at round 28, but at this point, they could show up as early as round 18 because of how how it all works, right? And, and I don't know, right? I have no idea what kind of challenge Cosmic has for us, but this does seem a little bit crazy. I'm gonna get long range. It's a relatively cheap upgrade. Do I want to get cannon ship? Cannon ship could be pretty nice, but I think the first thing I want to get is monkey bank. We're at round 11. We're already seeing yellow balloons and a bunch of green balloons and a lot. It's already... I can feel like the difficulty is definitely rising. We might have to go ahead and get an early submarine because I definitely want to get a bunch of submarines and get some boats down just because of the global range they're going to have. See, like, look, this boat is already struggling at round 13 just because of all the balloons that are going to be sending our way. But one thing to keep in mind that is actually a bonus for us is since every balloon is one tier up, that means we're going to be getting a lot more money because essentially there's a lot more balloons to be popped. I want to go ahead and get our monkey bank. We also have Benjamin that's going to be giving us a lot of money and we need to be preparing for this late game because while it does seem scary now, it's just going to get harder and harder from here on out and we need to be prepared. I definitely want to get a couple of submarines here, so... As quickly as possible, submarine, advanced intel, we're going to want to get ourselves like some twin guns, airburst starts, and just like the works, right? I want to get crow's nest because that'll allow us to hit camo balloons. See, look at this, we're dealing with rainbow balloons at round 20. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and get ourselves another submarine with advanced intel so we can kind of like, look at this, fortified lead balloons at round 22. Are you kidding me? Target strong, get cannon ship. Okay. I need, both of those are doing okay, but look at all of these balloons. How much money's in here? Only $4,000. Look at it! We have rainbow balloons at round 23! This is getting out of hand so fast, guys. What the heck? Look at this fortified lead balloons. Uh, how do we deal with this? I think the best thing to do is we put an alchemist right here, and then we get stronger stimulant, and then that way with that, they're gonna... Oh my gosh, look, we have to deal with ceramics at round 27. What the heck is happening? And it's going to be getting way more difficult the further we go along. So we need to keep, keep just going along and trying to get as much ability as we can. Here, let's get triple guns on all of these guys so they all are firing really, really fast. All balloons have gone up three tiers. So that means, look at this, look at all these balloons. That's so much to deal with. Moabs! We have to deal with Moabs at round 31. Look at all of us. It's literally a Moab rush at round 30. You normally don't have to deal with Moabs until like round 40. There's so many of them. Okay, I'm very glad that we have airburst darts. Without these airburst darts, we would be in big trouble. Armor piercing is very important, I think. I think we might need to get armor piercing like right off the bat if we're going to deal with these. So far, we are dealing with them pretty well. Let me go ahead. I need another submarine because submarines are very useful for us here. Okay, there we go. Another advanced intel, armor piercing. There we go. That's really, really nice. That leaves us with $7,000. I... Let me think. I really... I need to, I need to think about what's going to be really good here. I want to put a wizard here 
and then I want to get Wall of Fire, and I want to get uh, Necromancer, because I think Necromancer is going to be really good, like, just, just to constantly kind of, like, we have Wall of Fire, and Necromancer is going to be, like, pushing all these balloons towards the balloons, so when they spawn, it's going to be a lot better for us. Snipers are going to be really important, because we're going to have to deal with a lot of very strong balloons very early on in the game, and we're not going to have the firepower in order to deal with that. Right, and I don't know what's the best way to go about that here. Let's go ahead and we can get two more banks. And with this $10,000 we have left over, I want to get some snipers. I'm going to put a sniper here. And then, oh my gosh, round 35, we have BFBs. Target strong. Uh, let's put May Moab on this guy, and that leaves us with $2,000. Okay, that's a lot of BFBs that we have to deal with right now, guys. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Can we deal with all of these balloons? Thank goodness. Okay, we are dealing with that, but look at all these regen balloons. I really want... Um... I want a boomerang monkey right here. And I want to get a glaive lord when I can. And I also want to get red hot rings. Red hot rings are going to be really nice. There's really no good spot for a village. I can put a village here and get bigger radius and get MIB. And that leaves me with these $8,000. We just need a lot of extra, like, damage and pierce, honestly. Like... I, I like the... Oh, wait. We don't have armor piercing on all of these guys. Okay. Armor piercing on all of them is going to be very nice. I'm very glad that we have all of these. Let's see. This guy, 5,000 pops, 13,000. See, these guys are doing a lot of the popping for us. I actually want to put a couple of recursive cluster bombs here. I think about three of them might be good. Just for a ton of extra AoE damage and popping power. So that way we can kind of like clear out a lot of the balloons that are kind of coming through here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. We Oh my gosh, we have to deal with a bad balloon at round 40. Oh my gosh. Why do we have to deal with a bad balloon at round 40? We have $75,000 though, so that's wonderful. Glaive Lord. Okay. Uh, we have Cripple Moab. We need more. We need more uh, snipers. Main Moab, faster firing, target strong. I want... Uh, I'm going to upgrade this guy to sub commander because that's going to help out all the other submarines. We can get another submarine down. I don't have any money, so I'm going to collect it from this just so I can get advanced intel and level this up. And now uh, those are the DDTs. Okay, so that was a that was a bad balloon at round 40, guys, because since round and now everything's also going up one tier, right? So because the, the Moab was upgraded from a Moab to a BFB to a ZOMG to a BAD because it's at round 40. I think it, it must skip DDTs, but that's kind of terrifying. But we already have $100,000. We have so much money, guys, just because of all the extra balloon pops that we're getting right now. Look, we have $100,000. I know what I want to do is I want to put you right here. I'm going to put permanent, permanent brew down. I'm going to go ahead and get Apache Prime, faster darts, and faster firing because Apache Prime's really, really nice. I want a Moab Domination Boomerang. We're going to put him back here because he has the ability to kind of push balloons back. So we're going to get Moab Domination. We have $170,000 right now. We might be considering getting a true Sun God Temple, right? To see how long we're going to be able to survive. We can actually start getting set up for it and have the towers down that we need to. I want to put him down in range of the village. Right there see he's in range of permanent brew and he's also in range of the village which is really good and this way we can turn this guy into legend of the night oh that is this is kind of a problem i actually don't know if super range or laser blast is going to be better i really i am going to say plasma blasts and now that he actually has the permanent brew buff instead i'm going to put him up here and so the reason i'm putting this legend of the night down is because we're trying to get a true sun god temple and so we actually are going to need both of these i need to go ahead like look how many pops this guy has Two hundred thousand. like look at this oh my gosh those are it's a fortif guys round 50 fortified bad balloon fortified bad balloons normally don't show up until round 200 that's absolutely bananas super range technological terror anti-balloon gunner Laser Blast, Plasma Blast. Look at all these bad balloons, guys. Do I have enough money for a true Sun God Temple? Look at how much... Look at our money! Look at how fast our money is going up. Okay, there we go. Come on, keep taking him out. Okay, I'm going to actually turn off Auto Start because we have over a million dollars. And I want to plan out our strategy for how 
how I want to go about surviving these next couple of waves because it's going to get really difficult really fast considering that we have to deal with this many balloons. I think we put the true sun god temple in the middle here. Like these guys are doing good, but they eventually are going to wear out, right? They've served their purpose. Yeah, we're going to lose a couple of things here. But we have the money, I think, and the capital to make this work. So the first thing that I want to do is we're going to put a pontoon right here in the middle. And this is going to be our true sun god temple. In order to make a true vengeful sun god temple, we need to make sure that we have 50,000 for each special tower in primary, magic, and military. So that's balloon crush. So that's your primary tower. I will put you here. So this is military. Okay, so that's that. And now we just need to get magic. I normally like to just use a fire lord because fire lords are cool. And that's 58,000. So that is the all the money that we need for that. So now we can upgrade them into the sun temple. And so, boop. Okay, so now we have to do the exact same thing one more time. And then for the last upgrade, you do want to have a support tower in range of it with $50,000 in upgrades. So the super monkey, there's this, and then we're gonna upgrade it so it has the $50,000 in upgrades. And so now when we upgrade this guy into the true sun god temple, he's going to absorb primary, military magic and support and he's also going to absorb the anti balloon gunner and legend of the night and turn into the vengeful sun god temple so we can do this and if we did everything correctly it should absorb everything and turn into a true sun god temple the true vengeful sun god temple there we go guys the true vengeful sun god temple and now we can actually go ahead and get super range and epic range and now it covers pretty much the whole map which is going to be really really nice and that leaves it with two hundred and seventy thousand dollars so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to put a village here and then we can go ahead and get MIB jungle drums because he can't hit camo balloons without a village because I don't know why. And we're going to put a permanent brew right here and permanent brew. Boom, boom. This is with $200,000. So now we need to get some more, some more spicy things, right? We have $200,000. Let's get... Let's get ourselves a sniper. A couple of snipers are actually going to be really nice. So full metal jacket. There we go. Fast firing and now strong. I want to take just like a little bit of time to get set up here because there is a lot that we want to be doing. Bloom crush is really strong. I don't have a lot for AOE damage, but that's fine. All right. There we go, guys. Now, now we're cooking. That took a little bit of time to get set up, but now we're actually, holy cow, guys, let's go. Okay, I actually can turn auto start back on and look at this. He already has 500,000 pops guys like we are doing really good right now We got a lot of things set up. I can go ahead and look at the guys. Look at this Fortified bad balloons are melting to this guy. Look at how many pops he's getting That's a lot of pops and he's doing look that's almost a, that's a million pops right there He's already at 1 million pops by round 54 guys. I'm actually so excited by the time hey, we lit 100 and level 22. That's pretty awesome, guys. I am very happy about that. Here, we can go ahead. I I can't get that down, but that's okay. We can go ahead and get... Guys, look at how much money we have. What are we supposed to do with all of this money? We have actually, like, unlimited money right now. I'm going to put you down, and this is going to be our MAD. MAD is really, really strong. Do I want focus firing or powerful darts? I want powerful darts, I think. And now we can lock this to right there, and there we go. See, we can use that, and he just starts getting tons of pops as well. But now we have, like, infinite money, right? Now we can kind of just, like, do whatever we want, right? So we can put this guy down. I mean, we'll put this person, like, this person all the way down here. We can get a Spirit of the Forest going, and they're going to grow vines all along the track for us to constantly slow balloons. And this will just be, like, a super storm, just in case anything bad happens. Oh, I could get... I should have gotten Druidic Reach on the other one. I messed- I'm, I'm putting it back in the original spot, guys! And now I can get Super Storm Druid to reach. And what's really nice is any tower that's in the range of this gets the true sun- the true vengeful sun god buff, which makes it really strong. Look at how many pops. He almost has 10 million pops, guys. Here, we can go ahead. We're gonna put you down. I wanna get, turn this guy into the Master Bomber, because Master Bomber is a very, very strong thing to have. Just nice to constantly be throwing those on. I also want a Balloon Master Alchemist. I want to make sure we have this guy down. Look at look at this. He instantly has 25,000 pops. I which one's faster throwing? Faster throwing there, so probably perishing potions, I think, is better to have with the alchemist. So he's going to be turning more things into gold for us. Every like little little tiny thing that we can get is going to help out in the end, right? I guess we'll put a balloon, blue, the balloon exclusion zone right here. 
and then we can do focus firing and laser shock. See, like, look how many pops. Look at that, 200,000 pops, right? Like, every little thing is going to help out in the end. Uh, we don't actually need these banks anymore. You know, something just tells me that it's not that important. I don't even know what's going on on the screen right now. I, I actually don't know. Guys, round 70 is about to hit, so that means all balloons are getting fortified again. All balloons are now fortified again. So that means that everything that's... So instead of a blue... Like, instead of red balloon spawning, what is it? Red, blue, green, yellow, pink. Pretty much every single, like, red balloon is now a rainbow balloon. And that's why we're dealing with so many fortified bad balloons at round 70. I mean, look at how many pops this guy has. That's absolutely insane. We almost have 10 million dollars. Let's go ahead and get first strike capabilities as well as air burst starts is going to be really nice. I want to get bottom path. I want to get bottom path and then I want to also get glue soak and corrosive glue. Most of our pops are going to be coming from this guy who has 3 million. 30 million? I think that's 30 million pops, guys. The game's, start the game's starting to slow down because we have so much happening right now, guys. Like, literally so much is happening right now. I mean, everything here has so many pops, except this poor Drood who has zero. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe I haven't thought about this yet. Why do I not have an ultra boost? Oh my gosh, guys. It's lagging so badly. Like, the game, that's so many fortified bad balloons. Holy cow. Here, I'm actually going to put a, down a tech bot. And I'm going to link the tech bot to this guy. So every time we can, we can ultra boost him even more. Which reminds me, I'm actually going to sell this guy. You might not agree with me, but I'm actually going to put down a energizer submarine now. And then I also am going to get twin guns because it enhances ballistic missile and plutonium reactor. I wanted to put that down just to... It has a passive ability to just decrease the cooldowns of everything. Guys, we have so much money right now. So this has... Um, guys, we popped... So we, we, were vict we were victorious, guys. And we popped 141 million balloons, guys. To give you guys an idea, normally by round 80, you only pop around 300,000 instead of 141 million. But that is just the beginning, guys. Right? We're, that's just the beginning. I said we're going to see how far we can survive using this with this challenge and here we go guys i'm going to see either the game is gonna crash or we're gonna lose there is no in between guys so if you guys are enjoying hit that like button please consider subscribing and turning on notifications helps us out a ton when you guys do that to show your love and support to the channel we greatly appreciate it guys we're about to get a hundred million pops on one tower one tower does this guy this guy has 800 pops that's so sad that's actually so tragic. That's actually so good because no balloons have gotten past that spot yet. So that means like we're still probably going to be here a while, guys. Like this, this is, this might be a while, guys. So let's, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we just passed round 90, meaning that all the balloons are getting upgraded again. But honestly, there's no other place for the balloons to get. Every single balloon that spawns right now is a fortified bad balloon. Every single balloon. That's absolutely crazy. And we're about to hit 100 million pops on our Vengeful Sun God Temple. I'm actually so glad that we decided to ultra boost it and give it even more power. Here we go, guys. We're so close to 100 million pops on a single tower before round 100. There we go, guys. 100 million pops before round 100. Right now, guys, we've upgraded the balloon so many times that every single balloon coming out is a fortified bad balloon, which means the only way that we're going to be losing now is when the rounds get longer and longer, meaning that the balloons are going to get stronger and faster and harder to pop which I don't know what's going to happen. We just hit round 100, which means we're going to have to go up against one fortified bad balloon. That that was wait, what the heck? What just happened? Oh, there we go, guys. That was round 100, guys. That was actually the easiest out of all the rounds because that was it. Like, no other balloons are going to be able to spawn except for that one bad balloon that turned into a fortified bad. But we've been going up against countless fortified bad balloons. Guys, look how much money we have. Like, we couldn't even spend all this money even if I tried. Like, what's the most expensive tower in the game? I have no idea. 
I would put super mines down, but I'm trying not to lag the game. That's why, like, I don't want to put down any extra towers right now. All right, guys, I'm back. It's been about an hour now, and we're up to round 188. That's absolutely bonkers guys look at how far all of the balloons are starting to get along the track now we already are up to 270 million pops guys that's absolutely bananas look at all of these different like look at how many pops this guy has only 2,000 pops still so the balloons are slowly but surely making their way along the track though they're doing their best now the bad balloons are starting to get a lot further along though so we're still hanging in there and doing our best, but I'm afraid that the end might be near, my friends. I think the mod might have glitched out because they're not all fortified bad balloons. Like, some are spawning in as normal bads, and I see some ZoMGs too. So I think the mod might have broken at some point, maybe when we got past round 100. I'm not entirely sure, but we're still going strong, guys. We're at round 198. Do you guys think we're going to be able to beat round 200? Round 200 might be the round that just absolutely does it in for us, guys. These bad balloons are starting to get a lot further along the track now. Look at how far they're getting. We might not be able to be even able to get to round 200. That's going to be really sad here. I'm going to use a boost here. We got to make sure that we use some of our abilities. We're at round 199, guys. If we can get to round 200, that would be absolutely awesome. Like, look at how many pops this guy has. That's so many. Like, there's so many. Like, all of these towers are all getting so many more pops. Wait. Look at how similar these pop counts are. Wait, never mind. They are not similar at all. That, that one has like a lot of extra zeros on it. <laughs> I think this, I think round 200. Here's round 200, guys. That's the fortified bad balloon for round 200. Oh, no. This might be it for us, guys. This might be it. We're damaging it. Oh, there's another fortified bad. Oh, no. We popped it, guys. Oh, I think we're going to be okay, guys. I think that we might be able to just deal with it. Yeah, that was it, guys. We beat round 200. Let's go, guys. So I think the mod broke, guys, because not everything is a, well, a fortified bad balloon anymore. So this could go on literally indefinitely, I think, guys. Like, eventually we will lose, but I don't want this to be an hour-long video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You guys are amazing. I love you all, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content, guys. Stay awesome, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!